everybody, and welcome to this special holiday edition of Cooking Healthy with Coastline. And I'm here today with my friend, Caitlin Ferrara, who's another registered dietitian, and she's going to be showing me a super easy, healthy holiday recipe. Now, what's the recipe that you're doing today? It's a dark chocolate pomegranate bark. Oh, so cool. I've never made bark before, so I'm actually really looking forward to hearing um, how to make it. Um, and I will be making a berry oatmeal bake, and it's super easy. I've made it for my family before on Christmas morning as we're opening presents, and it's a nice, healthy addition to, you know, a lot of us tend to have, you know, some high sugary pastries for Christmas morning, and this is another healthy alternative that I think you'll love. So, the first thing that we start off with is two cups of instant oats, right here, ready to go. And I have some brown sugar, about a third cup, some baking soda, some salt, and some cinnamon. Okay, so I'm just gonna mix this together real quick, break up that brown sugar. Okay, here we go. The instant oats are better to use in this recipe only because it takes about 35 minutes to cook or so. And if you were to use some of those steel cut oats, it probably would take a whole lot longer. So the instant ones, especially with the hustle and bustle of Christmas morning, who has time to fuss with oatmeal, right? Okay, so I have this in here and now I'm going to add about half of my blueberries and raspberries that I have here. And you can do any kind of berries that you want. It doesn't have to be blueberries. It doesn't have to be raspberries. I've done the recipe with strawberries and it still comes out delicious. And I have one cup of walnuts here that I'm just gonna add half to here right now to the dry mix. Okay. And mix this all together. Now that this is here, I'm just gonna set this aside for the moment. And actually, Caitlin, if you wouldn't mind, could you cut up this banana for me? And just little teeny slices, I would appreciate that. So now I'm gonna work on the wet mixture. So I need two cups of 1% milk, which is actually all that I have left in here, <laughs> which totally works out. Okay, I need one egg. Three tablespoons of butter. Okay. And then one tablespoon of vanilla extract. Here we go. You know, and I would say too that if you're in a rush, right, Christmas morning tends to be really busy. We have a lot of baking Very to do, busy. a lot of cooking. You know, so it might be nice if you were to make the dry mixture at nighttime. Then you just have to do the wet in the morning and then you are all set. And Caitlin, would you mind just pouring that over into my, my dish over there? Thank you so much. Okay. Just gonna make sure that it's evenly spread over. There you go. So colorful. I know. Well, food should have a lot of color, right? We're supposed to yes. eat a rainbow, you know? And when all food is all one color, it just doesn't look very appealing, you know? And that's one of the things that I love about this dish is that it's so bright, vibrant, and colorful. Love it. Okay, so then the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna add the rest of our berries. And if you wouldn't mind adding the banana that you just so kindly chopped up for me. Okay. Go ahead, you can just feel free, throw them on in. And this is a great dish also for the kids to help you with, you know? Um, I know, keep them busy, right? They've got all this excitement for Christmas morning. And it's good to help kid, for kids to help in the kitchen. Very good. Isn't that beautiful? That looks so wonderful, so colorful. Then I'm gonna add the rest of my walnuts. Okay, if you like pecans, you can do pecans. If you like almonds, if you have any leftover almonds from you know, doing your, your dessert, you can do that. Okay, 
And then finally, I'm just going to add the wet mixture to it. You want to make sure that everything is evenly coated because then if not, it's not going to cook the oats the way that you would like them to be. Okay, and you're just going to give it a little bit of a shake so that way shake it gets, and bake. Yeah, <laughs> shake and bake. I like that. Yeah. So that way the mixture gets all the way to the bottom. Okay, so we're going to put this in our oven. We have it set for 375 degrees and it will be in there for about 35 minutes, 35 to 40 minutes. Okay. Okay, breakfast is done. Okay, take it away, Caitlin. All right, so Stephanie focused on something that you could have in the morning, whereas this, this is a dessert or a sweet treat that you could have later in the day. Mm. So I'm going to start with some uh, dark chocolate. There are about 10 ounces here. So, mm -hmm. okay, here we go. Now, Caitlin, is dark chocolate really all that healthy for you? It can be good in moderation like most things. Yes. It does have some health benefit, um, but you don't want to go overboard. Right, right, right. And it's so rich that you just need a little bit. You don't really need a lot to get that craving for something sweet or chocolatey. Yep. So we're going to let this melt, and that'll take a couple minutes. It's melting quite fast, too. Yeah. Melting quite fast. Yeah. So while that's happening, if you haven't already, you can start to separate your pomegranate seeds. Um, or if you want to save some time, you could buy oh, some pomegranate seeds already taken out. And I did pat oh. these down with some paper towel before uh, measuring them, just to get out some of that moisture to prevent it from separating with the chocolate. It is going pretty quickly. Yay, yeah, I know. Yeah. The other ingredient in this bark is, uh, these are lightly salted, almonds. Okay, so we got some protein, dark uh, antioxidants in both the uh, pomegranate and the dark chocolate. So we're getting fruits, you know, we're getting mm -hmm. nuts, nuts, you know, yeah. and we're getting chocolate. But again, you know, like you said, it's all about moderation, of course. right? You know, and the higher percentage of the dark chocolate, the healthier it is. We try to get around 60 to 70 percent of the dark chocolate. Um, so that way you can actually get all those really great heart healthy benefits that we love yes. so much. Yes. And if you know you have an event planned for a holiday celebration, this is something you could prepare in advance so you know you can enjoy something sweet Perfect. without yeah. having to maybe break your healthy habits that you've been trying to follow. Right. You know, and you could make this easily the night before because how oh, yes. long does it have to go in the refrigerator for? So once it's prepared, it has to refrigerate for two to three hours. Okay. So just take a little time and it would be a, a good idea to have it um, prepped the night before and it's very, very simple as you can see. So fast. The chocolate's almost ready. So what if I didn't want to do it in the boiler? Could I do it in the microwave as well, not yes, the chocolate? Yes, you could. You yep. know, a lot of people do that at home as well. Yeah, if you don't have a um, couple of pots to boil it over the water. Microwave is just fine. All right, so this is ready. I'm going to transfer it into a mixing bowl. It smells so good. <laughs> oh, I love the smell of cooking chocolate. <laughs> okay. And it really didn't take a long time. It no, only took it, a no. few minutes. Yeah. And I used um, the dark chocolate morsels. You could buy the wafers as well. I've just had practice oh. with the morsels and I feel like they do go a little bit quicker, so. Okay. So now I'm going to add half of the pomegranate seeds that I had already portioned out. Mm -hmm. So these would give the bark a little texture and some flavor. And color too. Of course. Mm -hmm. yep. And half of the almonds. What I really like about this recipe is the sweetness of the chocolate and the sweetness of the pomegranate mixed with the lightly salted almonds. Oh, sweet and salty. Sweet and salty. The perfect it. mixture. Yes. Okay. So you just give this a little blend until everything's kind of covered with chocolate. And I love that you can buy the pomegranates 
already with the seeds out of them. And I love pomegranates too. <laughs> I have to tell you, I love them, but they can be a lot of work. You know, they're a lot of work they and they are very messy. Work. Yes, yes. Extremely messy and yes. they can stain some stuff, so. Yeah. It's not one of those uh, fruits that you bring to work and you eat <laughs> in front of people. It's more of those, oh, just have that at home type of yeah. fruits. <laughs> Although they are delicious. Yes. Okay. So I'm transferring this onto wax paper on top okay. of a cookie sheet. And this you can spread out as thin or as thick as you'd like. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And if you, if you mind just holding the wax paper. Sure. See? And the kiddos can help with this too, right? I'm sure this would be lots of fun yes. for them to watch. Oh the my goodness, yes. Okay. It doesn't have to be perfect because if you've ever had um, bark before, it comes in pretty uneven pieces. Yep. So it doesn't yep. need to be perfect. Mm -hmm. Just I'd worry about the texture that you'd prefer more mm -hmm. so. Yep. Okay. So it's great for all of you first time bakers, you know? How great is that, that you don't have to have a perfect thing prepared for everybody? Right? I love it. Don't even have to turn the oven on. I know. Okay. And then I will top with the rest of our portioned out almonds. Mm. You can put as much as, or as little as you'd like on this. And give them a little pat so that when it cools, they settle within the bark. Oh, right. So they don't fall out. Yep. Even pistachios. Oh, that would be delicious. Pistachios in that. that would add a little more color, or even walnuts, walnuts too. If you had walnuts left over from this recipe, right. you could add to that as well. Yeah. Okay, and then the pomegranate. And you can easily double this recipe too. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Depending on how many people you have, you know, coming over for the holidays. Yes. Okay, so just giving this a little pat so that it down. So like I said, the pomegranate seeds are, they're naturally a little wet. So, so it's a good idea, to, yeah, to make sure that you had um, um, took all the wetness yeah, out yeah. beforehand. Yeah. It's something you learn from making it in the past. Yes. Okay. All right. I think this looks good. And it's very colorful as well. Just like what Stephanie mentioned, food should be appealing just as it is nourishing. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. So once it's at a uh, thickness and nice as, um, as full as you'd like it, you can refrigerate it for two to three hours. Two to three hours, perfect. Okay. And so once it's, Voila. Once it's beautiful, cooled, it'll look something like this. Okay. As you can see, the pieces are pretty uneven, but once you cut it, they will start to break because you're cutting through the almond, which gives it a little pressure, um, and it kind of cracks into their natural little bark pieces. <laughs> I'd love to try a piece. Sure. I'll try some too. That is amazing. That is so good. A little pop of pomegranate seed really gives mm -hmm. it a little burst of flavor. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness, I'm definitely making this for Christmas, wow. It was so simple. Mm-hmm. Three ingredients. Three ingredients, you know, and this really was super, super easy to make. Um, you know, again, Christmas morning can be really, really busy. Thank you so much. So if you'd like to try a little portion of that. Sure. And chocolate hands. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you could actually add some chocolate chips into this too. I bet that would be nice as well. so good. You know, Christmas morning, you have tons of things that you have to work on. This is nice because you don't have to give people bowls of oatmeal, right? You have all those dirty dishes and everything like that. This you just cut into squares, you can hand out. Absolutely delicious. It tastes like oatmeal. It does, it tastes like oatmeal, yeah, with all this extra added fruit and nuts to it. Okay. Great. Well, Caitlin, thank you very much for joining me yes, today. Thank you for having me today. Absolutely loved your recipe. It was so, so good. And thank you so much for joining us. Happy holidays. And be sure to check out our YouTube page and also coastlinenb.org. Take care.